Canadians are living on the most borrowed money than people in all other G7 nations, mostly because of our big mortgages. And Canada's Housing Authority is warning about how exposed that makes us and the economy should anything go wrong. Let's bring in Jeannie Lee. So, Jeannie, how much debt are we juggling? Well, uh, Hannah, we already had the distinction of uh, owing as much money, uh, actually more money, than the entire value of Canada's GDP, gross domestic product, Canada's economy. It was 107% of GDP a couple of years ago. And if you look at other uh, G7 nations, they've actually been cutting back on the amount of debt that they have as a proportion of GDP. But Canada has been you know, behaving badly in terms of that. It's been adding instead. And so just some other uh, facts uh, that came out in the CMHC report today, the Housing Authority in Canada, um, stating that basically you have uh, only Australia, that's the only other country in terms of developed countries, that uh, the GDP um, and debt ratio was higher than that of Canada. Now, Australia is not part of the G7, but um, what we can say is that within the G7, uh, Canada is the top uh, borrower. And in terms of what drives a lot of that borrowing, it's simply mortgages. 75% of the amount of money that we borrow is to finance your home or maybe a secondary property, an investment property, all of that type of ownership is on the rise. And so the fact is um, all of this was driven by the fact that prices were up, which encouraged people to buy before they went up even more, plus those super low mortgage rates, abnormally low interest rates, especially since uh, 2020. And uh, that, of course, combined to make for higher mortgages. And people were able to afford that when rates were very low. But now that they aren't, after those eight rate hikes in a row, um, there's a lot more trouble being able to handle those um, monthly payments. But we also know that the Bank of Canada, the government of Canada, has pretty much instructed the banks to uh, go easy on people who are on the edge, who can't afford those monthly payments if rates were to go up, but instead maybe stretch out their mortgages, uh, e extend that those amortizations so that they go for years, if not decades longer. So basically, we're borrowing more and we're going to have to pay for it longer uh, is the bottom line here.